Pete, your young youth, they win the international cup tonight. And you must be delighted how they played. Yeah, really pleased for them. Um, obviously, it's a different kind of pressure we put them um, through on a game like tonight, where the uh, outcome is to try and win the game, whereas obviously the development games are slightly different. So, really pleased that they've come through it. It's a good experience for them to play in a final. Uh, if you're in the academy system, you don't get too many opportunities to do that. So, really nice for them to play in a final, win it at the Abbey under the lights. So, yeah, really pleased for them. Of course, they've been playing under 18s this season, but is a different um, prospect and an opposition really. Obviously, some physical players there. How do you think they um, adapted to it? Yeah, I think um, in the first half, I think that's something that we probably struggled with and we didn't make the game look how we wanted it to look and we probably got drawn into a bit too much of a physical battle, which naturally against men you know, you're going to struggle with. But I thought in the second half, we um, negated that by using the ball a lot quicker. Um, so that's kind of how we um, got around that problem, if that makes sense. So really pleased with how they come through that test. And like you said, you did grow into the game and you had a couple of chances to kill the game off, but none of this. You've got the goals and that's what matters. Yeah, sure. I think there was um, plenty of chances in the second half where we kind of could have killed it off earlier, but um, the lads stayed patient. It's You can get sometimes drawn into a um, real bit of anxiety around finding that winning goal, um, but we didn't. We stayed on the ball, we stayed patient, and then Kai has taken his chance really well. So, um, yeah, pleasing to, to get the goal to kill the game off. And of course, stalwarts in a Canby and Kai Yearn as well, you mentioned, have been here throughout the Youth Cup this season, fell in the team as well. Just for them to score the goals and obviously how well taken they were as well, which is great for them and their development. Yeah, two brilliant finishes and it shows um, it showed a real bit of maturity in both finishes. I thought they were a real bit of class on the night. So really pleased for them, but it's the whole team that have worked incredibly hard this year. Um, we've had some, um, some good moments throughout the year, some difficult moments throughout the year. So really pleasing for them to... Um, cap it off with winning a final um, at the Abbey under the lights. It's a, it's a great, um, it's a great reward for for the group. And they've created some history as well, of course. Like we mentioned, the Youth Cup, the quarterfinals, this tonight, just been a fantastic season for them, really, and one to remember. Yeah, definitely. I mean, the uh, ultimate objective within youth development is always getting players uh, as close as we can as Mark won his first team. So obviously that doesn't mean that we pat ourselves on the back because we got to the FA Youth Cup um, latter stages and then obviously we've, we've won the Cam's Invitational Cup. Um, so we have to keep going as, as staff, as players, as a group, because it's all about trying to get these lads as close to Mark Bennett's first team as possible. So yes, it's been a good season, but we've got um, a hell of a lot of work to do. Um, to bridge that gap and get them as close to the team as we can. And you mentioned that, of course, Captain Tonight, Liam Bennett, he's made some appearances as well and he's played fantastically. I guess that's the aim now, really. No, not quite safe yet, but you'd like to think that perhaps when the last few games come around, maybe I'll get some chances, or at least in the 18. Yeah, I mean, I'm certainly not going to stand here and try and pick Mark Bonner's first team for him. But, um, yeah, we hope that we can get a few boys as close to the, the team as we can. Um, but, you know, the, the first team level's gone up. We all know we've, we've been promoted from League 2 to League 1 and the first team are flying and they're doing really well to almost be safe at this point in the season. So the level and the bar to get into that team keeps going up and, and we need to improve, the players need to improve. So um, I don't think players should get token gesture debuts or token gesture appearances. Um, it's about working hard day in, day out, using every performance, using every development game, using every under-18s game as a chance to keep improving, showing the manager what they can do and uh, getting their place in the team because they deserve it, not just because they've, uh, they're have they a good lad or anything like that. It's about um, playing and contrib contributing towards a winning team and, and that's what we, we've got to try and get these boys as close to that level as we can. Thanks for your time.